Welcome to my Golden Games, and welcome to a quick tutorial. So this is going to be for spin tires, which you know from the title. But anyways, it's actually really simple how to install mods. Uh, usually, you know, you can use just Steam. But if you want anything else, like what I'm going to be doing here, is going to be more realistic mud effects, I guess. Haven't used it yet, but anyways, I'm going to show you how to install it really quick. So basically, here's the download. I'll have the links in the description. And so anyways, you go here, and then you just find your Steam file. Mine is under original, but yours will be under wherever you have it located. Just do a quick search for it on your computer if you don't know where it is. But basically, it's Steam, Steam Apps, Common, and Spin Tires. Oh, that's right. Okay. So, actually, for me, I got a new hard drive. I forgot. I moved some of the stuff over to the new hard drive. So, actually, that is on my gaming hard drive in Steam Library, Steam Apps common basically the same thing spin tires and then media uh this folder right here let's double click that and then let's open up the dynamic mud and then i also downloaded this is kind of like an optional file that you could download too it's like more realistic water and stuff i guess because it's like more diversity in water i guess so it's more dynamic and sometimes it's you know different you know like more uh more of a current at times i guess but so then I click on that and then basically just do that and drop it right in there. And that's about it. And now we'll do the other one too. Double click on that and drop it right in there. Uh, we will replace. And we should be good. All right, so we're in the game now. It looks like so far it's working. So let's go and, you know, we don't even need to really pick a vehicle because we're just going to do this as a quick test to make sure it looks like it works. Right, so here we got a truck. Let's start up the engine. Right, big air diesel. Parking brake off. And let's pull forward. So I have not actually driven these trucks yet. Oh, oh crap. Ran over that rock. Uh, let's get all wheel drive on. Come on, baby. Come on. Yeah. All right, so let's head over here and see how the mud is. It might be hard to tell. I'm not 100% sure how this mod is. I just came across it looking for, you know, just other mods to install. Okay, here we go. Alright, so the mud is deforming. I don't know. It looks like it might be deforming a little better than it did before. Uh, does this even have diff lock? I don't think so. It looks like it's deforming differently. It looks, you know, more realistic than it did before. Before it was really realistic too, but now it just looks even more intense and if you go to the mod description, or the mod download page, and you can read all the different things. They added like 27 textures. Okay, here's some of the water now. So it's supposed to add like more diversity for water crossings. And so, oh crap, that is pretty deep. Come on, baby, come on. So it gives it like more pressure, you know, more force, I guess. It makes it a little more difficult to cross the water. We could always winch up too. But that's about it. It looks like the mod worked. I think the or the ground, the mud, it looks different. And apparently, like the more you dig into the dirt, you like the deepest layer is mud and clay, which I don't know. It's supposed to be really dynamic and really cool looking. But anyways, this was just quick how to how to install it. I'm actually gonna go work on another video, subscriber requested video for spin tires. And then I'm still working on Grand Theft Auto LSPDFR, getting that back up and running again. So, all right, guys, I hope you liked it. If so, maybe hit that like button. You know, let me know if this was helpful. Have a great day and see you next time. Maybe consider subscribing if you haven't already.